I'm going to keep this short. Most of it is shite. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing with that. And that's what I figured out last night. This could work, you know, experimenting. On the flip side, bigger pieces of shite. Good morning, my nature-worthy nautical nudist. You know, I should really start like doing these videos starting off with saying like good evening because they go live at 6 p.m. every day. CST, <laughs> which is GNT minus six. Get it on your calendars now. Otherwise, be there or be square. All right, so I was thinking about this in, anyway. It, this You could see this as a humble brag. It's so far from a brag. It's just, the, the, I don't know how I've managed. Anyway, we're sleep training Ruger again, and it's, a, it's difficult. It's challenging. Uh, so I was working on it until about 1.32 last night, and then switched over with the misses. <laughs> like, which brings me on to two topics. Uh, one, I was prepared to do it for the whole night and get him completely sleep trained. The wife is eight months pregnant. The one thing she needs the most is rest. Uh, but then I think you move into this, mo these motherly instincts that she is so emotionally overwhelmed with all the hormones coursing through her. And I, I do not, I really mean this in the most serious sense while I laugh. <laughs> In the most serious sense, there's so many hormones coursing through her body that number one, while yes, she's had a baby before, she may not have experienced this and she doesn't know how to control those. Like I know logically she knows the best thing to do is carry out the sleep training. Even though we both would like Ruggie to sleep in the bed with us, like that's just something we would like to do, but we know it's probably best for him to sleep in his own bed. But there's so m these, these hormones are clouding her judgment. And I don't mean to get like personal about my wife. This is more a topic on, uh, I guess, understanding other people's perspectives on things. Um, but from like, <laughs> yes, the day before yesterday, we went to go get some like foil pans to make food to freeze so that it's ready for when the baby comes so we don't have to cook. We just can grab it out the freezer. And she's asking me, should we get the ones with plastic lids? And I'm saying, no, I don't think we should because there won't be enough of a seal. I think we get just the foil pan and then we wrap it in foil. And I think that would be a better seal. <clears throat> but to her, like that really flustered her because all she wanted to do was just get the job done. She had it figured out in her mind and she didn't want to change her plan. It's like just a stupid uh, discussion to be having. Like it really does not matter that much. And I remember in that moment, for me, it was so logical that we do not go with plastic lids and we go with foil because it would create a tighter seal. And I was clouded by how logical of a decision that was that I didn't stop to think enough about the fact that actually this isn't a decision that I need to be the winner over like I don't see things as winning and losing but it doesn't need to be whatever decision that I come up with it could always be that okay we get the ones with plastic now and later that day or tomorrow she looks at it and think thinks Ashley I don't think plastic is the right move. Cool, we just take them back. No big issue whatsoever. And so that was like my fault for not seeing the situation and trying to understand things from her perspective. And of course she apologized later too. Um, but I guess that is an interesting perspective where neither of us have been in that position before. Like where I had to stop and think that she is hormonal and she isn't able to see that she's being let's say let's say unreasonable for want of a better term and so we both have to learn how to deal with that wow deep start to the morning but anyway 
the mornings all flip-flopped. So I went to the gym first and then I'll go back and edit the pod vlog. But I wanted to do it that way so that I can be there for when Ruga wakes up and just like chill with him so that Shay can sleep a bit longer. Get things done. All right, well, I'll see you, I'll see you at home. Listen up, <clears throat> you beautiful goose liver shot. We are, we're jumping an opportunity right now. Literally five seconds ago, I had something else that I was gonna say. Uh, don't remember what it was. Uh, but I've been working on some clips. What? Hold on a minute. What happened to doing any TikToks? We haven't done more on TikTok this last week. And that is because uh, there's a couple of things in play that it just, it would be silly to work on those. And with my parents coming next week, since I won't be making these vlogs while they're here, I want to get as many clips made as possible to auto post to social media to drive traffic to these videos. So, um, what is the big opportunity today? The big opportunity is that there was a, a Kai Sanat and Nicki Minaj, Minaj interview. Now I know what you're thinking. What a load of shite. I agree. And it's going to be very painful watching this. But I've seen a lot of clips going on social media and all of them have crazy likes so far. So I'm going to find the video, take a load of clips and use those. Essentially, we're just going to capitalize on that. Uh, where is it? On it, like honestly, the Kai Sinat videos. Oh gosh, it's a hour and twenty-eight stream. Let me just see. I'm, I'm just seeing which video I should click on. I don't know if I can put myself through an hour and twenty, but I guess I'm going to be skimming it. So sure. I cannot stand listening to the high energy streamers like Kai Sinat or Speed. Just can't be doing it. And also, the, the thing that you see with these streamers is they just repeat the same thing. Again, 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 again. It's like, it's imagine a Mr. Beast video, I guess up until recently, where everything is coming at you so fast, there's so much happening. It's like these live streamers are thinking, I can't have something crazy happening every second, so I have to be talking every single second. And they're just the shh, rubbish that comes out of their mouth. It's just like, oh my God, shut up. I forgot to do something, I'll be right back. It's 8 p.m. So I spent a lot of the day. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna. I'm gonna keep this short because there's not much point. But what I was meant to say. I spent a lot of time in CapCut, cutting up that Kai Sinat Nicki Minaj edit. Horrible to go through. Absolutely horrible. And it ended up. I'll show you my screen here. I ended up having to do tons of little edits, the, way more than I was expecting. So uh, I've closed out the original product project, but first of all, I had to take this hour and 30 long podcast, cut up, try and take out all of the, like most of it is shite, but take out lots of bigger pieces of shite. <laughs> and then from there, uh, I had my segments, I had to find the footage, attach it. So like the clips you're seeing in here um, is like, so you've got the inter podcast bit, the interview bit, whatever it is. And then 
it flicks over to my bit of footage. Fairly basic, but also the audio on the original video was so bad, like up and down. So I had to make a few adjustments to that. And then what else was there? Yeah, making sure that the watermark was updated to the right pod vlog. I feel like that was quite important. So I ended up making like 20 clips. Annoyingly, they all have to be under 10 megabytes versus 100. So the automation through Zapier can only take a file that's 100 megabytes maximum. But for some reason recently, it's only been able to do 10 megabytes. And that's what I figured out last night. Um, and then I, th I think the bit that's fairly time consuming then is coming up with both a title for the video. So like this one up here, in addition to a, sorry, I guess that would be a caption and then a title that would go, you know, where the title goes on the video. You have to be slightly different. But I guess the good thing is, is that I'm not seeing anyone else create this type of video. I, I'm seeing everyone cut out clips that are edited from just their video, their long form video, but I'm not seeing anyone take clips from popular, it doesn't have to be a popular show, just another clip and then piecing it together with their own bits of content. So I think this, this, this could work. We'll see. Just, you know, experimenting. What else? Uh, CapCut that I've been using here, their, um, their pro version. They have a deal coming up that is, I think I already signed up for it, but if you go, I don't know where it is now. I think it was on the template page of CapCut. And there was like a banner at the bottom here. Um, but it allows you to put a dollar down now and then the sale opens up tomorrow that makes it like 40% off or 60% off or something. So it only makes it $50 for the year. And for some of the features like some of the AI tools, the auto captions, I think it's well worth that. How's an AI? Oh, yeah, we don't want that. Um, it's actually a pretty good editor for what it is. So yeah, if you want to get it, download the app, log in, and I think, yeah, check out the templates tab and that should be there. Highly recommend it. What else was there? The TikToks, for some reason, the automations for TikTok don't seem to be going well at all. I mean, yeah, they were going well, but then they just stopped being pushed. Like the last... So if I go the clips, the last one, two, three, four, five videos on all three TikTok accounts have gotten zero views, which makes me think that perhaps there's some kind of check that TikTok are doing that you can't post consistently at the same, like I said, at the similar time. Or perhaps, I don't know, it's... Because if it was realizing that it's the same video is getting posted on another account, it wouldn't just suddenly stop delivering the videos, would it? It would have done that all along. Whereas like the other videos have been going out. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I might have to pause the TikTok postings. But... Yeah, nothing's been coming through from the Instagrams. Like the videos have been posting, but no views. On the flip side, YouTube Shorts has been doing pretty well. So I'll share my screen here and you can see. Um, so, yeah, that's not right, is it? That's actually gone up. Content. I literally just looked at this on my computer. Switch account. Odd write daily. Yeah, 
yeah, it's showing five subscribers on Old Right Daily. Oh wait. I'm O oh, Right Daily. Maybe I'm logged into the wrong account here. Yes, I am. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so five subs there. The other two channels have actually gone up a couple of subs in the last few hours. So one's at 10 and the other's at 13 subs. And they've been getting a couple of thousand views on each of the videos, which is quite interesting to see. So it seems like YouTube is the spot. However, those haven't been directly converting over to subs to the main channel, which is okay. I think we're playing the long game here. Uh, and this this is this isn't necessarily about someone really enjoying a video so much that they're like, oh, I have to know exactly where this come from comes from. This is more about getting my content and in front of people enough that they start to question themselves of where is this coming from? I need to go and find it. And then they start to, you know, if they enjoy it, they enjoy it. If not, you don't enjoy it, which is fine. <laughs> yeah, so I'd say it seems like YouTube is the, the YouTube Shorts is the decent spot at the moment. Interesting. Okay, I think that's it I have for today. I have been, I've got, I bought, not I didn't buy, I've had obsidian over here, which is just black volcanic rock or dragon glass. And also, I asked one of my, Shay's sister is dating a hunter or a guy that hunts. So he brought me some deer antlers, like whether you agree with hunting or not, I like the way that he does his hunting. But this is what people use. I don't know how, quite how it's done. I won't do it right now, but they'll like smash on the side to break off shards. And then I would use those shards to shave with for the shaving series. I feel like that could be a really good video. But at the moment I just have a piece of rock and a deer antler. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be doing with that. <laughs> I mean, this is meant to be the sharpest thing in the world, but it blunts really quickly. So if I'm filming a TikTok and I bleed out, there we go. Um, okay, I have one last thought. I could do, I could, I could like, there are things I could do to make up time in these videos if I wanted just to make them longer, but I feel like if I don't have anything useful to share, there's no point. Right, like I don't want to waste your time. Like you may enjoy just hanging out and watching the videos, but equally I want there to be some level of value and not just rubbish. Okay, well, 10 past eight, we're gonna to go to sleep. Been sleep training Ruger, so that was, this has been interesting. All right, dude, see you tomorrow.